armies, man. Okay? The Lord of armies. The armies of the angels. Okay? The Lord said, just say the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me there is no God. Okay? So that's a cut to us knowing uh, uh, all of these other gods, which are no gods, man, as the scriptures say. Because the other gods can't deliver us, man. All right? Isaiah 45 and 5. Then I'm going to get back to Jeremiah through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Yeah, man. Like I said, because Jake don't consider. Jake don't want to consider his power. You know? We tell our people that they're about to get rest. And they laugh, man. They mock. They scoff. What's up, bro? Huh? Huh? Oh, I saw you were filming. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm filming over here. What's up, bro? Oh, no, I do graphic design, so I'm just going to play on the camera. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now I'm just keeping the word of the Lord, man. That's it. That's right. All right? Telling you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that salvation is for you. And the Lord said, But but thou hast not known me. Okay? Especially now in this town. Because we forgot the name of the Lord. You know? But through the elders and the apostles, it was brought back unto us. Okay? The scriptures say, if you seek me early, you shall find me. And that's what's going on through the spirit, man. You got brothers waking up all over the world, man. All over the world. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, I see Yahweh Shai. All right? Woo! Let me jump back. In the book of Jeremiah, Second chapter. I think I was at verse eight. Jeremiah two and eight. It said. Jeremiah two and eight. It says, "The priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me." And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. Yeah, man. Matter of fact, just to prove that even further, okay, because even in the ancient world, there was false prophets and pastors, man. There was wicked scribes and Pharisees. The same thing going on today, okay? Let me get this. Woo. The scriptures tell you about guys that if they don't teach according to this word, that there's no light in them, right? That they lying. All right? Isaiah 8 and 20. It says to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Yeah, man. That's why your TD takes. Your Michael Phillips, your Creflo Dallas, okay? All you Jakes involved in Catholicism, all right? Your pastors be lying to y'all, man. All right? Your Michael Todd and all of the rest of them, they be lying to you. They bring out one scripture, and then the rest is a bunch of hoorah and hoodad, man. A bunch of nonsense. 
Because them guys don't teach according to the scriptures. You know? The scriptures go all into these, these false prophets and pastors. Because they didn't teach us that we was the true chosen people. What's up with that, man? Okay? Your pastor's in the, it's in the, the church, the Harlow houses, ogling at women, ogling at uh, 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 another man's woman, committing adultery. Some of your folks, some of your prophets, uh, your prophets and pastors is homosexuals. Okay? They don't consider the Lord, man. in the book of Jeremiah, the second chapter. That was the point on that. I'm going to jump down. Jeremiah 2, verse 11. It says, Hath a nation changed their God, which are yet no God? Yeah, did these other nations change their gods, man? Hell no. They still got their gods. But we want to change ours. These other nations' gods are no gods, man. The one and only true power is dealing with us. Okay? It says, Have they nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Yeah, these other gods don't profit us. These, these religions. Okay? Anything outside of Yahweh Shem Al-Shad does not profit Israel. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Verse 12, it says, Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid, be very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns broken cisterns that can hold no water. All right, it says, my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. Yeah, man. The fountain of truth. All right? Our people have forsaken you. How about Shimi How Shai? All right? The scriptures say uh, uh, our people have played the harlot. And in that turn, Yahweh Shemashah made our own wives. All right, our earthly wives harlots, man. All right, because we committed adultery. You know? We stepped out on the Most High, man. Okay? We want to go open our legs to other nations that didn't profit us. All right? And then the scriptures say what? Broken cisterns that can hold no water. That's why you got Jake out here bugging out, thinking he's everything but himself. All right? Then it said broken cisterns that can hold no water. That's why Jake can't retain the truth. Like I said earlier, man, you tell our people that they're the princes of the power, they, they start bucking out. Okay? They mock, they scoff, they scorn. They say, nah, we can't be. All right? They want to be everything else but the princes of the power. Yashar Allah. Yah meaning he. Shar meaning a prince. Allah meaning power. We are the princes of the power. Why you want to be Islamic? Why you want to be an African? All right, why, why you want to worship astrology and zodiac signs and stuff like that, man? You want to do everything but worship Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? That's going totally off, man. That's, that's going all the way off. All right? But again, the point of this lesson, man, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah did not forget about us. So-called black man, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, the Lord didn't forget about you. He's coming back to save you. All right? And we're going to rule over the earth once again. Okay? Verse 14, it says,
because Israel is servant and she a homeborn slave? Why is she spoiled? Yeah, why are we spoiled? Why are we destroyed? Did the Lord create us to be slaves? Hell no. He created us to, to be gods, man. Jake don't want to be a god. All right? Woo! I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna jump down to verse 20. It says, For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. When upon every high hill and, ever, and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. The Lord said for of old time, yeah, back in the ancient world, man, in the time of judges, even before that, in the time of uh, 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 Exodus, man, the Lord always burst our bonds. The Lord always delivered us from captivity from the heathen. Okay? And every time we got rescued, every time we got delivered, we said, we ain't going to do it again. We ain't going to do it again. And then we end up doing it again.